आई एम डॉक्टर संजय गोजा डायरेक्टर एंड क्लिनिकल लीड लिवर ट्रांसप्लांटेशन एंड एच पी सर्जरी नारायणा हेल्थ कैंसर्स विच अपियर इन लिवर आर कम्फर टू सोर्सेज वन लिवर इट सेल्फ एंड अदर द कैंसर विच स्प्रेड टू द लिवर फ्राम अदर ऑर्गन वट इज कॉल्ड मेटास्टेटिक कैंसर्स द मेटास्टेटिक कैंसर यूजली आउट नंबर द प्राइमरी लिवर कैंसर्स द प्राइमरी लिवर कैंसर द कॉमनेस टाइप इज द हिपेटो सेल्युलर कार्सिनोम विच इज कॉल्ड प्राइमरी लिवर कैंसर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ द प्राइमरी लिवर कैंसर are non specific and usually they appear usually late in the course of the disease this is one of the problem with the liver cancers that's why majority are diagnosed very advanced stage 80 to 90% of liver cancers appear in uh, at the background of the chronic liver disease if somebody is already diagnosed as chronic liver he is on regular follow up then it may be incidentally picked up during imaging when on the follow up otherwise if patient is not diagnosed earlier and it is sometime most of the time is uh, it is at advanced stage but it is only sometimes that they are at uh, early stage the symptoms are non specific like weight loss uh, fatigue then will be abdominal distension uh, the symptoms of primary liver disease overlap uh, so it may be difficult to diagnose even in cases of uh, the chronic liver disease unless there is imaging done as i said liver cancers can be a primary liver cancer or they can come from the outside what is a metastatic cancer even in the liver itself the cancer can be what is called a hepatocellular carcinoma that is the primary cancer which appears in the in the liver cells then there can be cancers arising from the biliary channel inside the liver which is called intrahepatic cholangiocarcinomas then there can be cancers which appear from the blood vessels or connected tissues inside the liver but the commonest liver cancer is the hepatocellular carcinoma or the one which comes from the liver cells itself liver cancers uh, usually are diagnosed on imaging it may be ultrasonography CT scan or MR those patients who have a chronic liver disease and are on regular follow it is ultrasound along with the tumor marker alpha fetoprotein which sometimes get elevated we diagnose the primary liver cancer and when there is suspicion on preliminary imaging alpha fetoprotein we have to confirm it by the contrast imaging which is usually CT scan or MR scan tissue diagnosis of biopsy is not needed in a majority of the cases of the liver cancer the management of the liver cancer again is a multimodality management uh, it, it depends on, on the extent of the disease the extent of the background liver disease and how is the patient's performance status these are three parameters we are taking into account to decide the treatment modality a patient whose liver is background normal he has a cancer just a surgery is good enough to take out that part of the liver it will cure the patient but majority as i said 80 to 90 percent chronic liver disease if the patient's liver disease background liver disease is there and it is advanced also if the cancers are in multiple places what is called multifocal multicentric cancer then the treatment becomes liver transplantation cancers are very early stage then even just ablative therapies like uh, radiofrequency ablation can take care of the uh, liver cancer